So, EA dropped two brand new evolutions tonight. We've got Pacey Winger and we have got Bruiser Wingback. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. And with the new evolutions, we open up a few decent sort of areas for some pretty decent cards in the game. I'm a big fan of evolutions. I think EA can maybe do a few more than they're doing at the moment. But I'm a big fan of it, so I thought we'd go through and look at some of the best options for both of these. Now, Pacey Winger, you can get yourself up to an 85 rated card. It's 50,000 coins or 1,000 FIFA points to do the evolution. But there are some really nice cards that you could do here. Uh, some of our top picks are for sure Malcolm. Uh, getting the perfect link to Neymar, I think, is a great option. He'd have some really nice stats as well. Uh, he's four-star skills, three-star weak foot, five foot eight. But you'd have really nice stats. You have 88 dribbling, 91 uh, pace, 82 shooting, 71 physical. And of course, that perfect link to Neymar. Meaning that you can get Neymar on full chemistry a lot easier. You won't need to just have a bunch of Saudi players in. Because he gives you that nation link, that club link, and the league link. Which is really nice. Um, so he's a good option to go for if you have, for example, an untradeable Neymar. Or you just love Neymar in the game. If you're an absolute horn dog, and I know there'll be a lot of people. Because she's already 10,000 coins. There's going to be loads of people that are going to do Alicia Lehman. And we all know why they're doing Alicia Lehman as well. We don't need to go into the reasoning. We know why people are doing it. But Alicia Lehman's another another option there. She gets some pretty decent stats. Um, I've, play, I've played against someone called Gap to Glory today. And I just know he'll be doing uh, Alicia Lehman for sure. Um, but yeah, she's got up to 10,000 coins. A lot of these cards are going up rapidly in price as well. So hopefully you've got some of them in the club. Otherwise, you might be forking out 10,000 coins. For me, by far the best pick, in my opinion, has to be Lucas Vazquez. So you can do Lucas Vazquez in the pacey winger section because he can play at right wing. Um, and this card's four star, four star. But as a right back, this card could be absolutely nuts as an 85 rated right back. Those stats look really, really good. You've got 89 pace. You've got decent shooting, great dribbling, really good passing. The defending stats are half decent and the physical stats are really good for a right back. But also, there's not a huge amount of decent Real Madrid right backs or really right backs in the La Liga that get decent links. So I feel like he could be a good option with Bellingham getting a Trailblazer card at the weekend, uh, this upcoming weekend. Or you've got Modric's road to the knockout. You've got Vinicius Jr. and Emma Letao. Need I go on? There's a lot of really good Real Madrid cards. Um, it's a nice card to get to link some of those cards together. I do think Evolution should be something relatively personal, though. I think that um, a big thing for Evolutions, if you've got untradeable cards in the club, and you need a certain link to them. And then an evolution like this comes out. It's a perfect opportunity. Let's say you've got an untradeable Ozerman. Like a Rose of the Knockout Ozerman. Like it's a great opportunity to get an 85 Politano. That gets a club link to Ozerman. And maybe then you've got Ozerman, Kvartskelia and Politano. And they just get full chemistry. So that could work as well. Um, and I think this card actually looks really nice. As a just a, a good option. A good right wing option. High low work rates. Four star, four star. Just really good overall stats. My personal pick for this one is a bit different. Um, you may agree or disagree with this one, uh, as you please, but my one's going to be a bit personal. It is going to be none other than the boy himself, Ahmad Diallo, who I think, although he only goes up to a 78 rated and granted won't be a card I use all the time, to be fair. Um, I'd like to have this card on the bench for when I'm winning games by multiple goals and don't worry about, <laughs> don't worry about bringing him on. Um, but like, this is what I think Evolutions is for, in my opinion, picking more personable cards that kind of work for your club or that mean a lot to you i think that diallo is a really good shout but at the same time it is ultimate team and people want the best teams they could possibly buy so i'm not going to sit there and and berate you if you go and do the the sweatiest meta card it's a shame that kubo got player of the month because he'd actually make a really good card i think if you're going down the women route as well you've got chanda who could be a really really nice rummage of women's team as well uh card because this card can play up top as well as a primary primary position and in-game, we'll have really nice booster stats. You've got 93 pace, 83 shooting, 79 physical, 84 dribbling. Um, overall, a really nice stat, uh, really nice card, sorry. She got up to 83 rated. Um, and as you go down the list, I mean, there's a few, like, decent cards there you might want to use at times as well. I mean, you've got, like, the likes of Tolly Marsh is not awful. Um, I don't know if he can play. I was going to say, maybe he can play center mid, but he can't. Um, and I'm sure you guys can find a bunch of hidden gems as well. Cards that can play at cam or DM or center mid or striker. You know, different cards that have good alternate positions. And if you do find any, let me, let me know in the comments down below. I'll heart the best ones and I'll pin the best ones as well. So that other people can get a good idea. There might be some decent cards as well that you can Evo twice. So there might be cards you can Evo in the bruiser wingback that you can then evo in the pacey winger as well um speaking of bruiser wingback 
So some of my favourite shouts. First, I think is is gonna be is gonna be Timothy Weyer. Uh, now I, I I'm not gonna lie to you with these cards. Most of these silvers are 10k and extinct, so you're gonna have to go through the pain of sniping them. As you'll see me going through the pain in a second of me trying to snipe these cards. I'll roll the clip now. I literally that's so quick, bro. I don't get it. I don't know how I can do quicker than that. That's crazy. Ah, twice now. Literally, I won that. But yeah, we're like, no, we're not going to give it to you. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. We finally get one. Thank you. I really like the Weyer shout because Weyer is very versatile. He can play right mid, right wing, right back or left back and can go up to an 83 rated card, which is honestly a pretty decent card. I think that Juve are bound to have some really nice cards this year and to have this card in the club throughout the year might prove pretty useful, especially down the line if we get a really nice Juve SBC or an American card and you just can't link him at all. You might be very grateful that you did Weyer earlier on in the year. Um, so that's a very good option. I think that another great option is Liveramento. Uh, Liveramento goes up to an 83 rated card as well. If you're a Newcastle fan, you're probably loving it. Um, I think that he's probably a decent shout. He's got really nice well-rounded stats as well. Um, but you've also got, you know, an outside the box one that I went and got was uh, Tokos. I just thought like, as a center mid, like this card looks really well-rounded. I've gotten the wrong one by accident. Like, I feel like this card looks really well-rounded as a CM or a DM got decent pace the shooting's pretty average but you've got decent passing stats decent dribbling stats decent defending and decent physicals i think the only issue with this one and this one is, is actually arguably more personable than the last one is that 83s are going to become pretty almost useless very very soon which is why i'm just going to go with, probably i'm going to go with riviera i think just because she's a main United women's player and i think the only main United women's player you can do with this i think her card looks terrible, but I just want to have my United Evos in the club, to be honest. Um, I think that's the one that I'm probably going to go with, just because it's quite fun. But yeah, there's a few decent shouts there. And I'm guessing there's some outside the box ones. There's uh, Rico Lewis from Man City who could play DM. Uh, pretty nice, well-rounded card there as well. There's probably some bronzes that look okay. Um, it's not the world's best one, but you know it's decent just to, just to Evo a card for 83 rated why not and especially if you've got maybe an untradeable in the club that just makes sense or if you evoed player like for example if you evoed chiellini now's the time to go and evo some more mls cards to make him usable in a team because he's hard to link out already you can go get like a day juan jones for example from the new england revolution and you've got an actual pretty decent left back here slash right back if you want to use him at right back he's actually got relatively decent stats so that might be the time now to do that so yeah, I guess it all comes down to what your club needs and what you're looking to use, really. Because again, there's, there's good cards everywhere. I mean, you can literally go and find a bunch of really good cards. I mean, Caroline Nicoli can play a striker uh, and can get... She's got four-star, four-star, high, medium. and can get some really, really nice stats. I bet she's probably OP in game with some nice play styles as well. So yeah, I think ultimately it just comes down to what you want on your card and uh, what you want your club, sorry, and what cards you want to go for. And also sort of what team you support or if there's any players that you have a connection to. Um... That's probably going to be what it comes down to. Now, yeah, a lot of these cards are going up in price quite a lot at the moment. So it might be worth waiting if you've got Div Rival rewards coming tomorrow or marquee matchups. Maybe wait until then. You might get looking get something out of like a premium mixed players pack or something. So I'd maybe wait until then. But yeah, these are the brand new ones that just came out. Now they expire in 13 days. So you've got, you've got plenty of time and they are pretty relatively easy to complete, to be honest. Like it's not super difficult um, and you'll get some pretty nice cards in the club. Um, I will say I feel like EA have been a little bit slow with evolutions. I thought we'd get a little bit better. I can't lie. I thought I thought we'd get um, better, better evolution content than this so far in the game. But we are only a couple of weeks into the game. I'm not going to complain too much. There's a lot of negativity right now, especially around Twitter and stuff like that around the game. I don't want to sit here and be negative about it because I'm actually quite enjoying the game. But I would like to see a little bit more from EA in terms of especially evolutions. I just think it's such a really cool aspect of the game. So if we can get a little bit more. That would be really cool. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments down below who you guys are choosing to Evo. Uh, we have got some pretty fun content coming soon. We've got Div Rival Rewards tomorrow morning. We have got Trailblazers on Friday. So make sure you guys are around for that. And I'll see you later.